Yo, what is up everyone? Game Breaker got here. So in today's video, I want to give you guys some really cool combat tips that you may not know about or you may already know about, but let's just, uh, you know, improve on those and I'll show you some of the stuff that I figured whilst playing the game. All right, without further ado guys, let's begin. So, the first tip guys, this is pretty basic, but like, when I actually started playing the game, what I didn't realize is that when I'm not locked onto my opponent, so like, when I'm, I'm not fighting, uh, Cal does like a base jump like this, unless you have double jump, where you can actually jump like twice and you do like a flip forward, um, but when you're in combat, just literally, when you're locked onto a something, locked onto an enemy, you do backflips all the time, literally, you always do backflips, as you can see, you can do like a, a hit, and then, uh, and then you can jump over their heads and do like a hit with the square, as you can see right there. See that? So when you're in combat, you can actually do backflips, which is pretty cool. And then when you jump over, actually, I think I found this out as soon as I started playing against those stormtroopers on my playthrough walkthrough one number one. Um, I was experimenting with the combat and I figured that when you locked on, you can just like do like backflips and smack them in the air. And another thing that you guys may probably not know already is that you can block in the air. Let me just show you. Just show you again. See that? I can jump in the air and block at the same time. So right here, he's gonna jump at me. I'm gonna block in the air. Oh. See that? In the air, and I block. Obviously, you can't block the red ones, but you can block the, the parable ones, all right? Moving on. Um, Toss me one, BD. Dodging and evading. So like, when you're evading, when you want to do the perfect evade, which is this one right here, uh, where is it? This one right here, which I call Ultra Instinct, Precision Evade, you have to be so precise, especially in Grand Jedi Master. Oh my gosh, it's so tough, right there. It is so tough, so tough. And you, all you gotta do is press circle at the exact time they're about to hit you, just like that. But it's tough, guys, it is tough. And you can't press circle, side circle, or like forward circle, you have to just press circle. It doesn't work by pressing side circle, back circle, forward, side all that stuff it only works by pressing circle it by itself and cal will either duck jump sometimes uh dodge sides you know what i mean guys he does whatever he needs to do it works with the red attacks as well but certain red attacks hit two times so you gotta do it twice and sometimes it even cancels itself out so sometimes it even dodges let me just take out one of these guys out and i'll try and show you how it works efficiently so let me just show you sometimes you can do it in a raw, like you can dodge and then dodge straight away as soon as the cooldown is off. So, but you're gonna have to listen out for the dodge and everything. So, let me just show you right here. He's gonna attack me. This guy is pretty dumb. Just uh, force push him out and he's out. Now, this guy, see that? Dodge number one. So, let me just show you. Uh oh, I timed it wrong, so I got hit. So, I timed it wrong, so I got hit straight away. Uh oh, messed up. I thought I had my headphones, so I can't hear it. I can't hear the attacks without my headphones. Yep, messed up. Well, let me try and do it again. See that? See that, guys? But it's just about listening and hearing and seeing it coming. And what you can't do as well, guys, you can actually, like, dodge and then parry. Which is nice. So right here. Boom. So let me just do it again. Uh-oh. Messed up. Ah, oh, man. I was going to parry the second move. I'm gonna just try it. So you can do that as well. You can do all these versions, guys. Really cool, really freaking awesome. Messed up. It's tough, it's tough. It's not easy to, to perfect invade all the time. And then you can parry, see that? But I didn't do the perfect version, but I'm gonna try and do hey, it now. BD. All right, let's go. There we go, see that? Boom. Ah, she the perfect parried it. Combo time. And it's over. He tried to hit me again. Ah oh, man, I didn't dodge at the right time. But as you can see guys, you can literally dodge and then parry. The perfect evade is literally the game breaking mechanic of this game. Like it allows you to do a lot of things. You may not even block. Like if you perfect, if you master that move, that move right there I just showed you, the perfect the perfect evasion, you can pretty much become a master at this game. Like, 
you can just see everything. You don't even need to be locked on to do that move either. You just gotta make sure you don't press, um... Uh-oh, I'm gonna get hit, I'm gonna get hit. There's nothing I can do about that. He attacked me at the right time as well. Stim, please. Tricky guy. Yep. I messed up. Alright, so I may not even be locked on. As you can see, I'm gonna be looking at you guys. I just gotta make sure, um... Now, I, I hear the attack. I don't have my headphones on right now. So I can't hear it. As you can see, like, it's pretty awesome. So right here, awesome, guys. Oh man, I messed up. I was gonna try and do it without looking at him. Here we go again. I don't have my headphones on. Oh, there we go. I still got it. <laughs> I still got it, bro. But hey, let's get out of here. I just wanted to show you that you may not even be locked on. You can be looking at other opponents, but if you have your headphones on and you can hear a monster do a sound, wait for like a split second and then dodge, you probably will just hit it. You'll probably get it, all right? So that's that for perfect evasion. I hope that helps. Uh, moving on, guys. Another move when you're exploring. This is what I always do. If you watch my stream, you'll probably see me doing this all the time. So this attack doesn't actually... It's not just that, okay? This is the attack I'm casting. Okay, that's the attack. This is the attack I'm doing. So what I'm doing, I'm blocking before, after I hit the ground, I just block and I do, it allows me to cancel it. And it allows you to do just, look, you move so much faster with this move, guys. It's literally insane. You just, no monster can catch you when you're doing this. You're so fast. Like, they can't catch you. There you go. As you can see, like, you can move so far away, but when you're, like, in platforms and stuff, you normally get blocked by something. <laughs> I don't know what really, but it blocks you from moving. But it's so simple to do. All you're gonna do is literally hold triangle and block. So I'm gonna show you what move that, what that is, which is this one right here. Dash strike. And then, you obviously, unlock the, unlocking the uh, improved dash strike would be even better because you move even further, which is nice. So, yeah. That's that. We're gonna go through pretty much every single skill. This is probably gonna be a really long video, but I really want to help you guys um, on this game. So, Spartan Kick. The Spartan Kick, guys. How do you use this in combat? Well, okay, it's actually pretty simple to do as well, but um, every person is different. So, you can dodge to the side and then use it, or like dodge and then kick. So I always recommend you dodge first, or like block first, and then use it. But make sure you, you're ready to block or dodge out the way, straight away, otherwise no. you get hit. So like that, I just made a mistake, so I got hit. Boom. Yeah. And boom, that monster is now gone. But you just gotta use it really smart. All you gotta do, guys, pretty simple. When you're locked onto your opponent, press side circle and then press square. And uh, uh, he'll perform like the, the Spartan kick. Or you can just press circle to do the precision dodge and then press square and it'll do like the. I'll just show you guys. It'll do. Uh, he'll do the Spartan kick as well. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I blocked. I shouldn't have blocked. I shouldn't have blocked. I fell. Come on. Do your thing. He always does that. So dumb. So there he goes. All right. So right here, I'm gonna just perfect dodge, and then I'm gonna use the Spartan kick. Oh gosh. Just try and do it again. Right here, buddy. Wow, that second hit is tricky. It's not tricky to block. It's just tricky because it hits you even when you prefer block it. Again, I prefer hey, block that, but BD. it didn't work. Okay, let me just do precision hit again. Wow. Boom, dodge again and boom. See that? Just make sure you don't do it when the, the monster is attacking. As you can see, I did it when he was attacking relentlessly. Um, so I got hit. And plus, he, he has like a really long uh, cooldown period. Well, animation period. So you got to be careful with that. Make sure you only use it when you know your enemy's pattern. So like your enemy's attack pattern. So this will help you, um, you know, memorize the enemy patterns as well as knowing when to attack 
and when the enemy is open for you to be able to perform combos or like you know attacks so um yeah they really need to hurry up and fix this uh loading screen time because it's really long so let me just you know let me just uh wait for this to be finished and then we'll carry on all right we're back thank god uh moving on to the next skill we done the spartan kick we need to talk about what is this lightsaber increased damage oh gosh yeah that's probably why i do so much damage now that move right there how you can use that in, in combat i don't think anyone ever uses that in combat but um even i actually don't even use it in combat but now that i figured a new way of doing it is you gotta run and then press um square right but when you run in the beginning and you want to do it instantly so like let's say you don't want to run too much you just want to use it straight away from the get-go so you remember how in God of War I found how it went by dodging and then pressing the running thing. I tried that in this game and it didn't work. So in this game it works differently, right? So when like when you dodge and then you press the left analog in to start running, um, and then performing the move, performing the square move, this move right here, it doesn't allow you to do it. But you're gonna do it the reverse. So you're gonna do run first. So you you hear the controller go, well the controller will vibrate first. And then you can dodge and then you use it. Alright? So that's what you gotta do. You gotta run, dodge, and then use it. See that? And I use it without even the animation where I have to run for a bit. All you gotta do is... Boom. Done. See that? Again, done. It's so simple, but it's so tricky to use as well. Just like that. Now, the way you can use this in combat is however you like, really. Whenever you wanna input that move in your, in your combos, you can do so. Oh wow, that was the red attack. Right wow. here, buddy. Sneaky. Wow, still hits me. Okay. BD, stiff. Okay, so right here. I'm gonna try and use it right now. I'm gonna try and block it first. Okay. Right boom. Oh, I should have done the boom. Try it. And I messed up, I messed up. I was gonna try and dodge it after I dodge it. Boom, dodge now. Oh man, I messed up. I'm still not used to it because I found out last night. So all I was just trying to do guys is parry it, go in, I mean precision evade. And then what I was gonna do is start running and then attack it. But I'm still not used to the pattern. I've, I've actually never tried it in combat like I told you before. I literally just figured this out last night on how to activate it even faster. So I'm gonna try and do it again so I can show you how you can put it in combat. So what you're gonna do first is against these monsters, obviously every single monster or like uh, enemy or opponent is gonna be different to do that combo in. But you know, this is just an idea on how to perform it against specific enemies. Boom, dodge, and then doom. See that? So I'm gonna parry again and then use it again. Uh oh, missed. Boom. Dodge. And boom. There we go. See that? That's how you can use it in combat, guys. Boom. Oh, gosh. Whoa, I'm parrying. Whoa. Boom. Ah, I didn't run. I have to run first before you activate it. Run and then attack. That's it. And let's end this, kid. Uh oh, I think I might be dead. BD, I need help. Maybe not. Another move that can stagger them is that move right there, the jump triangle. And be careful because when you when you push them on the on the on the wall, like when you force push them on the wall, they can come back at you. <laughs> so it's very dangerous. Again, let's just recap that move right right here. Running and using it is really slow, but when you do um, when you just move slightly forward, literally as soon as you start moving, as soon as you put you press the right left analog stick forward you can literally press the left analog in and you'll hear like a motor on your controller go vibration like you you'll hear the vibration go and then you can just dodge and do it straight away you can do it really fast like really super fast just like so see that super simple so move left analog in dodge square that's it done finish moving on <laughs> um where were we sprint strike that's it now, one of my favorite moves to use in combos, the lightsaber throw and then power throw. 
So basically, lightsaber throw is literally the game breaker move. I mean, the game breaking skill in the in the game too. Because what it does allow you to do, guys, is stagger your enemies. What do I mean by that? What do you mean by stagger your enemies? Basically, the second time around it hits them, they'll be stuck on that animation for like a second or so, which allows you to do another hit on them. So let me just show you. Let me get this out. This guy out first. Please die. He never dies anymore. You normally die. Oh no, killed them both. <laughs> That's not a bad thing, not gonna lie. Um, so like, the second time it comes back, so basically when you throw it, and then on, the, on its way back, it, it staggers them, it flinches the enemy. So the enemy gets hit the second time around from, from behind. <laughs> it's a bit dirty, but hey, you know. Wow, naughty naughty. Here we go, so let me just show you. All right, let me just go right ahead. If I parry one move, I'm gonna do it. Wow, missed. Dude, come on. See that? See? Just come back. Ah, oh, don't die, come back! Ah. But as you can see, like, he got staggered the second time around. Did you see the way it, like, moved? I'll probably pause the video and show you. But yeah, that's basically all it does. It allows you to, um, Extend your combos a little bit more if it hits them the second time around. So I'll try and do it even better this time around. Get your ass out of here. Hello there, buddy. Your brother just got nuked. Don't worry, you're next. I got presents for everybody. It didn't hit them from behind, so it failed. Don't worry. Yo, where are you going? Also, when they do the red jump, just jump. I mean, just dodge towards them. Oh! The dodge! <laughs> the dodge, bro. Oh my gosh, that was swift. I jumped over it like, wow. But yeah, that's basically all it does. And then you can like extend your combos and it's just nice. It's really nice. You gotta use it smart though. You can't just, you know, resort to using that to stagger enemies because it won't work. They will get out the way and then they will, <laughs> they will hit you. So what I do first is parry their move, go in, throw the lightsaber and then dodge the second one. And then the lightsaber will be back and it will hit them for the second time from behind. And then it allows me to extend my combos. All right, moving on. What's the next move we got here? Um, this move. It's actually pretty good to use against humanoid type of characters, which I will show you on my next video. So this video is not too long. I'm gonna just gonna show you good moves to use against these these monsters. That's good too if you wanna, you know, just pause them for like a second or so, just for you to get hit another another um, another skill in. Now, this force push, well, well, however they call it, mass push, and uh, howling push. What's it good for? It's really good for combos. I use it all the time for combos. Like, as soon as I jump in the air and press triangle or come down on the ground, I straight away use it for a, a continuation. So let me just show you. Boom, he's out. Here we go. Where are you going? Come back. Wow, he's heavy. I couldn't flinch him. I couldn't flinch him, so like, he hit me. Here we go. Boom. And again. Wow! Look at that combo, bro. Look at that combo. Oh my gosh. Beautiful, bro. The game is beautiful. So, um, I actually didn't even show you the mass push. But, um, I actually only use it after you jump triangle. So the jump triangle, perhaps we should go through the jump triangle combo first. Which I'll show you right now what move I'm talking about. So the one where you smack the ground and he staggers a bunch of people that's behind him. Where is it? Where the hell is it? There it is. Right here. Repulse. Jump triangle. That move so good. You can keep spamming that 
and staggering. Well, you can't really spam it because you'll run out of force eventually because you're using force to, to push away your enemies. So you can't spam it. So right here, boom. See that? Stops them straight away. Boom. Stops them again. I ain't use it again, but hey. Oh, I got caught. I got caught. I shouldn't have dodged twice. This is why I tell you not to dodge twice. Dodging twice is suicide. Again, jump. Stagger them. Jump. Stagger them. You can do it. You can use it like this, or you can use it in a in a in a smarter way, which I I'll show you right now. Boom. Jump. Oh, he was dead already, so I couldn't co continue combo him. So the way I use it is, I jump and use it, or um, and then use uh, mass push straight away, so it doesn't, so the monster doesn't have the, you know, the, the opportunity to counter me. So that's what I do first. I jump and use it, and then mass push, so they are out of the way, so they can't catch me. Otherwise, I'd be in trouble, and it's not good to be in trouble with these guys. They are tough. Wow, how did he get all the way here? Uh oh, here comes the second one. I think they're both dead. Oh, he's not dead. Oh, see what I mean? Sometimes when he gets here, he's dead, but then when he's like around here, he doesn't die. It doesn't, it just doesn't make any sense. Because this was like the boss fight against, uh, you know, against the special somebody. So when they when they are on that specific part of the map, they die straight away because they're not supposed to be there. So let me just show you once again. Hopefully get it right this time around. So first things first, what I do: jump and then force push straight away, hold triangle, get closer, and then continue combo. Remember the cancel I, I taught you right in the beginning of the video. Let me just show you. Jump. Uh oh, missed. Right here. Jump. Boom. And then follow it with the triangle hold. Just try it again. Hold. Boom. And then bam. Cancel. And it's over. So canceling the whole triangle is just by blocking because you'll get closer to your opponent. Or you can just hold it and then press X and you jump like a, do a jump over it. And um, yeah, it's a good technique to use for combat if you want to, um, you know, keep pressure and keep comboing your opponent without giving them a chance to react. Now, you may say like, how are you doing backflips in the mid combos? Like, how are you able to jump mid combos? So let me just tell you, you gotta time it. If you don't time it, it will not come out. So for example, I hit once and then press. Wait, let me just show you until it comes back. Boom. Boom. The second time around, you can do it. Because I think the first time it never works sometimes. It's weird. So, right here, boom, kick, jump, triangle. See that? Super easy. Super, super easy. So, let me just show you that one more time. Kick, triangle, jump, triangle. Got it? Kick. Let me show you again. Kick. Triangle. Uh oh. Oh, I got super armor. I didn't know that. I got super armor on that move as well. That's good. Holy God. Hey, buddy. Do I really have super armor on that move though? Let me see. Oh, I don't. I don't. I thought I did. I thought I did. Yo, come on. Let me show me. Show me. Show me. Show me. I want to see if I got super armor, please. I got to time it. Nah, I think I do though. Because you saw that, right, guys? You saw that. I definitely had super armor. So apparently you got super armor on that move too, which I didn't know. <laughs> which is really nice. Holy God. I could only imagine the things you guys are going to come up with, these things. But hey, I hope I can help you guys by breaking down these skills and showing you its efforts. I mean, its uh, strengths and weaknesses. So, yeah, what is this? I only use this against bosses, guys. Um, if you watch my last uh, walkthrough, I was only using it against um i'm gonna save that for another video uh dual blade tutorial for now i'll just keep it single bladed so you guys don't get spoiled all right spoiler alert by the way sorry about that um i barely ever use that move to be honest with you guys 
it's good, but it's not the best. So as I was saying, before my girlfriend actually called me <laughs> mid recording, uh, she's just telling me about their house. So we have our house demo on the, this Monday coming. So I can't wait guys. You guys are going to soon see my gaming room and everything. It's going to look awesome. So anyway, guys, as I was saying, it's a good move, but not the best. It's only good to use against enemies that normally hit you and dodge after they hit you. So like the Knight Brothers, they hit you and then they roll back. So let me just show you. Boom. Boom. That one reaches towards them. So like even these guys actually roll back. They're, they're dead. These guys, it's not good to use against them because they can easily, easily jump out the way and smack you. <laughs> when I mean smacking you, you know how much damage they deal, don't you? So you don't want to risk it. You want to keep doing your basic moves. So you want to do hit, block, hit. So hit. Let me just show you right here. Uh oh. And it does, and it leaves you wide open for a freaking long time. Leaves you open for a very long time, which is not good. It's not good at all. That move is only good to use against stormtroopers, which I will say for another video. So like more of a combat video rather than like speaking and breaking down the video, well, the skills of the game, of the in-game skills. All right, uh, what was the, what's the next one? What is this one? Oh, oh. Oh, what is this one? Oh yeah, that's the one we spoke about already. Superior blocking. Oh, okay, that's not a skill, literally. That's just like, okay, that's only good against stormtroopers. I think the rest is basically, you guys already know. I already spoke about that. So yeah, that's basically it, guys, for the video. Uh, it seems we've covered pretty much every single skill, except the ones I told you guys we're gonna cover with the stormtroopers. But, quick recap guys, remember, backflips when you are um, locked onto your opponent, alright, just remember that, make sure when you're fighting stormtroopers you can actually jump over them with the backflips, and you can also block in the air, so if you know they're gonna attack you when you're about to jump, just block, it's okay, you can block whilst you're jumping, which is all good, and um, you to move forward, I mean to move whilst you're exploring, remember that you can uh, press triangle, and hold, I mean hold, hold and press triangle, press and hold triangle, and then press uh, block. And then uh, if you want to do it even faster, just stand in a straight line and then um, just press triangle over and over again by pressing and holding as soon as you touch the floor. So hold triangle, touch the floor, hold triangle again. So let me just show you real quick, right there. It's really tricky though. It's really tricky. And it's really fast. You can barely see it coming. Right there. And it does it even faster. But you can't move around by holding triangle if you're just gonna go straight forward. Unless, ladies and gentlemen, you change your settings. So like your button settings, where you can literally like... So let me just show you what I mean by that, alright? So you go on accessibility, and you change triangle with R2. Just so you can... Uh, let me just show you. What the? Oh, that was for Neo. That's confusing. All right, let me just do this again. So triangle for R2. Unless you do this, which um, I mean, you can do it in game as well. There's an option where you can change thingy. So like this, and even so, it's kind of weird because he doesn't actually follow where you want to want him to go. So. so let me just see how I can do this. So it's kind of weird. I'm trying to move towards the camera, but he actually doesn't do it anyway, so it's pointless. Therefore, it's not it's not it's not worth it. Just make sure you block. You know, the block version is so much more reliable. You can block and it's literally almost as quick. Not as quick on a straight line, but hey. You know, it's all good. Now, before we end this video, there's a few tricks I'd like to show you. You got this trick right here, right? This is um a skill you unlock later in the game if you haven't already unlocked it which allows you to do L1 square. Don't know if it's on, the, on one of these skills, to be honest. No, because I think you just unlock it. Yeah, I don't think it's on, on this skill tree. I think you just unlock it later in the game and that's it. But I got a skill, well, 
the lightsaber throw allows you to keep fighting. You know that, right? As you can see, right there. You can throw it, and you can still keep fighting. See that? And then it joins it together. Now, you can throw this in the air too. In case you didn't know, and the animation will be the same. But what you can do, guys, is do a backstab in the game. So when you're fighting an enemy who's right in front of you, if you press back, like tap back, and then press square, Cal does a backstab and he turns around towards him. So what, as you can see, one of my combos that I already did today, early in the video, when I kill this monster really sickly, I'll just show you. Uh oh, I think he may come back. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna show you right here. Boom. Oh, maybe not. I didn't get to do it again. I probably may try it again. Boom. Boom. Oh, I messed up. Messed up. I don't know how I can do it. Oh, I can do it when he's when he's down. Boom. As you can see right there. See that? I can do a backstab combo. But what I do is I unlock before I backstab him. Because you can't do it when you're locked in. When you're locked in, he doesn't do it. But you gotta unlock your your um you know your lock button thing. Boom. As you can see, see that? That's the only way you can do it. So after you parry him three times, or you know, just parry him once, it doesn't matter. Just parry him once, you know, throw it, go back and then spack that. So let me just try that again. You can do it whenever you go whenever you want. It's just a lot more trickier to do it on the go when you haven't parried him already three times where he's actually down on the ground and it allows you to keep going. So let me just do it over again. I mean again. Just so you guys can get an idea of how you can do it. See ya! Oh man, that's not good. Why are you here? Get your ass out of here. It's right here. I'm gonna parry him once and then throw it. Boom. See that? Oh, I ran out of force. I was gonna pull him over. <laughs> pull him over. I've actually run out of force, so I need to build it up again. Building up force with a uh, um, instant, uh, what you call it? With the uh, precision invade is really good. So right there. He's down, he's down, he's down, baby. But yeah, as you can see, that's, that's ways you can combo in the game. And it's pretty sick. So guys, I will show you more on my next video. And I'll show you how you can use this even more, even better in combat. And I'll also show you how you can do this. See that? So I've cancelled this animation. And I went straight into it after that. See that? <laughs> it's nice, right? <laughs> it's freaking dope. This game is actually pretty amazing. And I can't wait to explore more of the combat mechanics for this game. So thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you guys on my next one. Take care, man. Bye. Alright guys, that's all we have time for today. But let's stay connected by following me on Instagram and on Twitter. Also, if you enjoy the content, make sure to hit that like subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Take care.